welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna we're back out on the same lake again. Uh, we're gonna hunt for that six pound bass. There's not a whole lot to say. We got some baits to throw, a bunch of stuff you've probably seen a lot in the last few videos. It is super nice out right now. We're popping ourselves some top water. It's calm for once. The wind is gonna pick up later, and tomorrow the wind is gonna suck. So we are also doing some uh, rest area boondocking again tonight. One of the biggest reasons why we're really making it a good point this weekend is because temperatures are going to be up today and tomorrow. We're looking at like 60s today and possibly 70s tomorrow. That is warm for right now compared to what we were dealing with last weekend. Last weekend a high of like what, 40? 40, 45? Something like that. It's going to be great. So hopefully that gets the bass to move up a little bit more. Some big ones as well. And they typically do move up, the big ones typically do move up earlier in the morning and later at night. So, and since it's nice and calm out, gun shots in the air, let's go get it. There we go. on it. Didn't bite it hard. Not, not, not at all. Alright buddy. Just want to grab you. I'm not going to change position, hand position, because once I do, he's going to flip out. Nice little pike. Off like a bullet. Oh man, that water is cold. Whew. Okay. Well, not target species, but that was fun. That was on. Rapala Shadow Wrap Shad. I'm not sure the name of the color here. But we'll see if we can't find any bass down in there. Oh, got a fish. <laughs> oh, jerk bait. to run. Oh, it's a pike. That's why. It, oh, no, don't get in the motor. Oh, that's a nice looking pike too. He's a bit larger than some of the others. Nice looking pike. I think I might use the net for him. Oh no, I ain't got 
got the tank. Oh, there we go. Okay. Huh. That's a nice looking pipe. Oh, well, crankbait's screwed anyways. Here's the crankbait. It's already stuck in there. Alright, so we can't get this guy in done here. It's up here. There we go. Let's see if I can't get this guy up here. Got finally got him unhooked here. Well, there he is. Here he is. Not bad. There he goes. Stab myself too. You see that? That's weird. Okay. Need to get a good grip on him here so I can. There we go. Hook out. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Took a little while. Finally found a solid fish. I don't even know what he weighs. Probably only two pounds. Nice little fish. He's got the red lipstick right here. And they're cold. But he, he was right up in the weeds. I was not expecting him to be up in the weeds like that. Oh, well, yeah, that's a nice little fish. 2.3, 2.3 pounds, 2.33. What is that, two pounds and four ounces? No. Two pounds, six, I don't know, I'll figure it out, whatever. Nice little fish. Took a long time to get this one. Just had to figure out what they wanted. There he goes. Well, that one just came on uh, green, oops, stabbed myself again. Just a green pumpkin, swim jig, a green pumpkin trailer. Both by JE Custom Jigs. And uh, yeah, it just seems like I needed to calm it down a little bit. The bait, I've been throwing spinner baits, jerk baits, Stuff that is that's noisy, so and uh, stuff that isn't noisy, it's black and blue. So we'll see how well this works. We'll keep running with this for a little while and see if we can't find any more.
Sure. I don't think he's very big, but he took it right away. Oh, that's, that's a solid fish. That is a really solid fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's a good sized fish. I'm gonna try not to lose them here. One. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, do you see this? Jeez, look at this. Look at this jig. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Not at all. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice fish. I think it's it's got to be a three and a half pounder. Nice. Right up in the pencil reeds. I just I figured they'd be out. Oops, turn it on. Oh, he is it's like 3.85, 3.83. That's a solid fish. There we go. Hell yeah. That's uh, came on. A, look how he tore that up. It's the JE Custom Jigs rig there, swim jig and half ounce swim jig and in the June bug color with the June bug trailer. Also JE Custom Jigs. This stuff is killing it man. Yep, that's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. We've got a new bump board that I want to try out. You gotta wet the bump board down though. There we go. New bump board my wife bought me. It's kind of nice to have it because it goes 36 inches. I'm gonna close the mouth. Me, buddy, there we go. close mouth and see if we can if I can do this right. It's like uh, it's like 19 inches. It's awesome, awesome fish. He's coming back in the water. Woo! He's like let go. It sits for a while. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> right underneath the boat. Awesome. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. He cut me open with his teeth. He wanted to get going. That's all right. I'd rather see him full of energy, ready to go, than uh, not. Well, midday update. We finally got a couple of bites. One was a really nice, 3.8 pounds. And uh, we're fishing up shallow. None of these deep points. I guess, uh, you know, the warmer temperatures are up. So kind of thinking that was going to be the possibility, but I wasn't sure if it was going to happen today or tomorrow. I'll tell you what, though, looks like it's going to be jigs up shallow and pencil reeds. And uh, I think we're going to run that and run the lake and. See if we can't get any more bigger ones. They're out there. This lake I know has at least a six pounder. But that's the goal here. That's the mission. We'll try to find that six pounder. Let's get back after it.
There you go. It's a pipe though. Ooh, he might have. No, he doesn't have it all in his mouth. Burn off some of that energy. Good eater, Pike. Oops. Wow, the water's cold. There we go. Oh, it's a Pike. Oh man, he's just, he's just upset. This should be a pike show. Look at this guy. Well, let's uh, let's go back here again. Okay. Yep. You're done, buddy. You ain't breaking this line. Oh, he's hooked outside of the mouth. That's not real good. Outside? Inside? What the heck is going on here? This is kind of weird. Oh, wow, that came out super easy. He is kind of skinny though, but he'd still eat. Oh, geez, a pike. The last second. Oh no, he is all messed up. He's not all messed up. We are okay for now. <laughs> Gosh. Um, yeah. This isn't a pike show today. Er, this isn't a bass show today. It's all pike. Just so you know. Hunting for a six pound bass. Just kidding. More like a six pound. No. Yeah. More like a six pound pike. Oh boy. Here we go. Come here, psycho. It's another healthy pike. Be a pretty good eater. Maybe he's sitting pretty right now with food. This was a catch and cook. We would have six pike or more. No, six pike. Yeah, I think that's how many we got today. Six pike in the, in the box. But that's not what we're going for. I'm trying not to. Ooh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. No, I don't know. He frayed me up all through there. Got to retie. That's a wrap for today. 
<laughs> this just turned into a northern pike fishing show. No, not really. But yeah, the pike were on today. Got a couple of decent bass. One was a pretty good one. The other one was, you know, a little bit over two pounds, and the other one was close to four. And, uh, slow day, but we started figuring them out a little bit more, and I just don't know if they're all up. I think they're kind of a little bit all over the place right now. We'll have to check it out tomorrow, but right now we're gonna go back to the truck, load up the boat, get some grub, and get out of here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and catch you later.